Good morning ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready to come and ride along with the Trucker Rudy show today? I am ready to roll. Here we go. Let's get out of here. It's like five o'clock in the morning. We are getting out of here. We are supposed to meet up with somebody today. So let's see if that's going to be happening today. Last I heard that uh, it might not be exactly where we originally had planned, but uh, we will definitely try and meet up somewhere. back on the interstate and see if we got any slippery road yet because feet, uh, turn left on CR82 and then take the entrance to the left in 950 feet it was kind of drizzling here last uh, last night well all afternoon and uh, and uh, last night when I went to bed it was still drizzling but now it's not drizzling anymore but uh, but thinking that might we might have a little bit of slippery sections somewhere. Around 100 feet, take the entrance to the left on by 94 East. So let's go check it out. I mean, so far it doesn't seem to be slippery, but uh, then again, I mean, I'm only a few hundred yards that I'm rolling, right? But anyways, that's coming right along with us today, and that's ourselves a blast day. And let's get on the on the interstate here and let's get some miles behind us. Alrighty ladies and gentlemen, we are in Minneapolis, Minnesota. We are currently on the uh, 694. That pretty much takes us around on the north side of town. Just got a couple of four-wheelers that are a little slower up here, so we're gonna try and pass them. That's good. But it is kind of quiet up here in Minneapolis today. But I guess it's because it's Saturday. So I guess uh, probably less people going to work. Lane ends, merge left. Okay. And we will stay in this lane and we won't even move into the other right lane there. But anyways, it looks like uh, it's going to be a little bit of a cloudy day this morning, but uh, oh well. I think it's still going to be a good day, that's for sure. I'm going to try and make it a good day anyways. <laughs> yeah. Should be in Wisconsin here pretty soon. And then hopefully... Uh, Wisconsin somewhere today we'll meet up with somebody here we go we are just about to enter Wisconsin looks like that lake or river whatever you want to call it is almost uh, frozen solid a little bit of a stretch up here it's not frozen yet but uh, everything else looks like it's just about frozen doesn't look like a whole bunch of ice or thick ice but it's frozen enough to where there's a layer over entering Wisconsin there you go now we are officially in Wisconsin yeah I think here in the next little while I'll probably make me a little pit stop and uh, probably go have me some breakfast kind of getting hungry yeah I've been driving for about over three hours already so uh,
journey, right? No, I know it's a little bit of a hill up here, so it might be a little hard for the truck to pull it up here, but I'm surprised how, sh how good she does. I mean, I'm maxed out with my weight, so I haven't shifted down one gear yet. Looks like she made it up here. Just getting out of the climb right now. Anyways, let's continue on and go over to wherever we decide to stop and we'll have breakfast. Alrighty guys, I had just finished had a breakfast up here at this quick trip here on exit 28 in Wilson, Wisconsin. It was a good breakfast too. And I uh, discovered something. And that is... <clears throat> this is a Dennis, Denny's restaurant in here. And it's been like that for a month or two now. But... Uh, I discovered that if you have the uh, T-bone steak and eggs up here... It is actually cheaper to eat it up here than a uh, Flying J, than at a Flying J at a Danny's restaurant. Yeah. Most Flying J's they charge like uh, $17.99 or something like that for a T bone steak and eggs. In 800 feet, take the entrance to the left on by 94 East. And these guys only charge 13 something for a steak and egg, so that's a lot better. A lot better pricing. So it was worth stopping in here. Although I still like the uh, other restaurant that they had in there before, but uh, hey, if they got the Danny's in there, well, can't really complain about that because that wasn't my decision, right? So since they do have it in there and I was hungry <clears throat> and I like the T-bone steak and egg That's a pretty good breakfast for me So uh Figured I would stop in there. It was you know about that time anyways Already had me three and three quarter hours worth of driving in so I figured well It's time to make a pit stop anyways, so <clears throat> Glad I kind of did it over here instead of Maybe down the road, maybe at the Flying J or something like that. Would have cost me a few bucks more. Just to eat at a different Continue place, right? Road for 117 <clears throat> miles. But anyways, here we go. We're back on the interstate. And just put the hammer down. I think we're going to try and maybe get up to... Uh, Portage, Wisconsin and uh, <clears throat> I'll see how the highway is up to there but uh, I'm sort of thinking of getting a truck wash done I feel like getting a truck wash I've been wanting to get a truck wash out now here for the last couple of weeks and still haven't gotten around to doing it so I think today is going to be the day they do a pretty good job up there, so uh, I think I'm gonna go in there and get me a good truck wash. Oh, look at that, Smokey Bear! He's gonna be passing us right about now. You see him right there, Sheriff too, eh? Oh, he forgot to turn off the signal light. That's right. What, well, Mr. Smokey Bear? Oh well, I ain't gonna say nothing. <laughs> Whatever. We are back on the road. That's all that matters. It is a nice trip. Looks like a good day too. It's not cold out here. It's not cold enough to do ice raining either. So that's good. So let's get on down the road. And see what else we'll be able to show you today. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. We have just made a pit stop up here at the quick trip. I don't know how good you're going to be able to see that truck up ahead of there. That's a really cool, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, thing that they put up there. Looks really cool when they have that truck sitting upside down like that. 
as a sign for the truck stop. So, uh, anyways, we made us a little bit of a pit stop in here and uh, took care of some business. Now we're gonna go back on the road and uh, I know it's probably only about half an hour, 45 minutes and we'll be in Portage, Wisconsin. And I think I'm gonna take me uh, take a look and see how busy they are there in the truck wash. And if they're not too busy, then uh, I'll go in there and get me a truck wash done. But if they got a super long lineup in there, then I'm just gonna bypass it. <laughs> yeah. So let's get us back on the interstate. Let's get some miles behind us. Well guys, here we are at the Portage, Wisconsin. There's the truck wash right over there. And it looks like there's a long line up over there to get a truck wash. So I ain't even gonna attempt to go in there because uh, there's like way too many trucks in there. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven seven or eight trucks ahead of me there so it takes usually about 20 minutes to half an hour to wash one truck depending on uh, what all they're getting done so that could be a two hour deal just sitting on the line there so we ain't gonna do that I guess we're just gonna have to wait longer yet with the truck wash but uh, I have to come in there in order to find out because you can't really tell from the street there from the interstate so we pulled her in over here and so whatever then we're gonna go make a pit stop in here we got a dairy cream in here so guess what i'm gonna go inside and go grab me an ice cream dairy cream ice cream it's seven that's right feet. turn left on kenny road and then turn right so in that's exactly what we're gonna do what we're gonna do all right let's see where we can pull in here as close as we can possibly get well, I think that next one there, yeah, that's this is the closest we can get here, so We're gonna pull her in right here Now we'll see you guys all a little bit later. We'll go get us an ice cream. All right guys. We are now Entering the area of Chicago. That's right We are on I-90 currently I will be going on to 294 here in a few uh, maybe about half an hour maybe I guess that's about when we'll enter into 294 and then we'll make our way around Chicago towards uh, Gary Indiana exit 9 that's where we're going to take towards the uh, petrol truck stop construction yeah area. we'll go in there and uh, meet up with somebody that's the plan right now anyways talk to the person earlier and it sounds like they're there already so uh, definitely going to be meeting up with them so uh, looks like almost all of the snow has disappeared up here from Chicago I think last week when we came through back here there was still some snow a little bit more than we have now anyways but Actually, it is pretty warm too. I mean, it's above zero, so above freezing point. So it should be melting, right? But anyways, figure I give you a little update on where we at, what we're up to, and give you guys a little bit of a rundown on what we're doing and what we're seeing and all that good stuff, right? So let's go over there to that petrol and see if anything happens from here to there then uh, maybe we'll see you over there hey guys you recognize this boy over here yeah he's just a young kid compared to me right i am i'm only 18. <laughs> that's right can i say that and get away with it <laughs> hopefully <laughs> but we are here back in gary indiana where we met a couple of weeks ago yeah and uh we are gonna go inside and grab us a good bite tea right i'm i'm gonna grab the buffet tonight i'm still yeah that's good i think good. they got chicken on on that yeah thing. Oh, we'll check it out and see what they got, right? Yeah. That's what I thought. But at least they got nice lighting up here, so it should be a nice secured lot. Lots of room up here today yet, but it's also only Saturday, right? So Sunday could be... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Look at that. Look at that. What the heck? What just happened over there? Get it back right into that other driveway. Yeah. Whoa. What were they trying? 
Were they, they trying to start that guy? I, I think they did it on purpose. Yeah, I think they did that on purpose, but I think yeah. he was trying to start that truck. Yeah. That's... Push dirt. I heard it all flip. Yeah, I, I saw that. Yeah, I saw the whole the whole spiel there, but uh I'm staying on the wrong side. Yeah, that's alright. I show my movie star face, don't I? <laughs> I thought I was the star. No, you're saying you're the star? Yeah. <laughs> oh well. I smell good too. He got this uh what is it called? One million. One million uh cologne. Yes. I'm not gonna call it perfume now, I put it on me, so <laughs> Yep. We're gonna go in here and see if the girls are gonna chase me. Yes. Although I can't, but he can. He's single, right? How do you do that? You put that stuff on, girls chase you? How in the heck do you get away with it? Yeah, you know, I just tell them, hey, I'm not available. <laughs> they ain't chase after me all they want. No luck. That's why Rudy ain't fast. Yeah. <laughs> I got a good woman at home, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, well. That's right. But, that's a good walk up here, eh? We were way over there in the corner. This is my exercise. three and a half trips here. Yeah, exercise that we get, right? I don't get much of it. It's way I, I no. love parking in the back. Yeah, now, same if here. if it was raining or very super cold, yeah. then we'd have had to park up front. <laughs> <laughs> we would have tried anyway. Well, the front row there, I think, is paid. But... There was a lot of places when I got in here. Yeah, that mm, what's that smell? Hmm. Smell that? Smells good. It smells like barbecue. Don't it? I don't know. Can't quite make it out what it is, but. There's a barbecue shed over there. Really? I don't know if it's open. Yeah. Let's okay. Be smelling. Huh. Well, anyways, we'll go inside and grab us a good bite to eat. My arm is getting tired from holding the camera up. <laughs> so we'll see you guys all inside. All right, guys, we are getting ready to have a bite to eat. So that's how we look what we're getting. I'm gonna have my usual chicken Alfredo. What you got over there, bad boy? I got ribs, ribs, corn on a cob, baked potato, and a biscuit. <laughs> oh my, let's get to eating. Alrighty guys and gals, we just had our Periscope show, right? Yep. We just ended that. Yep. I think that was a pretty successful show. That was At cool. least the first one we did. Second one was not maybe... No, no, well, it was okay. It was and good. Angel, but... I want to thank you for being on there because, well, you get a hater. And yeah. you kind of flipped the show to the positive side, so thank you. Yeah, there you go. But anyways, we are getting ready to go to bed here very soon. Or at least get back in the truck where it's warmer. And then uh, <laughs> we'll get some sleep, right? Yeah. I we need some sleep too. I mean, it's still early. And what was it? Like 7.45 or something like that right now. So it's still fairly early, but... 8.11. Uh, 8.11. So there you go. So it's still fairly early, but I want to get out of here pretty early in the morning too so yeah. that way I can get over there to Pennsylvania early enough to uh, where I can get a spot parking right but there you go. but you're off to Minneapolis area and uh, yep. so you're gonna get out of here early too yep so yep. Uh, I'm hoping about one about one o'clock no later than two I'll be sitting up there with the TA just right before you get to the state line yeah yeah that's in the afternoon though right yep. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, no, that TA you want to get early because that's not real big. Not really big, and it's really super tight. Yep. And yep. So I mean, yeah, that's a tight spot. You got to be on this side of uh, Minneapolis or on the other side. I'm not sure yet. I got to oh, put it okay. in Honda to know okay. for sure. I just know it's Minneapolis. If you go to the south side, they're just off of uh, 52. There's, there's a, a there's a pilot there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you pilot. know about that one. They oh, used okay. to be. That, that's kind of a new pilot because it used to be something else long before it was pilot. Yeah, and but that one is a little tight too, eh? It's not, maybe not as tight well, as Well, it's a long parking lot. Not, yeah, yeah. You know, it goes quite a ways out toward mm -hmm. the road, so. Yeah. yeah. But anyways, we're going to close the show here. So thanks for meeting me. Oh, thank you for meeting and, me. And uh, yeah. we'll be in touch. Yes, and we'll, cool. uh, we'll see you guys all tomorrow. behind me that day is gonna come